I've been doing this about four months and I'm certainly learning a lot. That's what people tell you when you work construction. They say stuff like, wow, that's real work. You're going to learn a lot doing that. And it's funny because none of those people actually work construction. And I think it's for those reasons. It's real work and you're going to learn a lot. And, and I'm certainly learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about being an adult. You know, stuff like powering through emotions. <sighs> being hungry all the time. And a shart. I've never had a shart before, but I know I'm pretty well now. If you don't know what a shart is, the ingredients are overexertion and gas station cookies. You can make one at home if you want. Just pound three of those and try to lift a stack of two by fours. You'll figure it out. I've never done anything like this before. And when you start, you become part of the process right away. Uh, like I've never used a tape measure before this job. And I quickly realized the one I brought here was an utter failure. At first, it can be really draining. You know, that means sometimes you go home, you fall asleep, you get up and you go back to work. Two weeks in, I fell asleep on the toilet. Never done that before. Uh, it was kind of nice though, because when I woke up, I had to use it. After about a month or two, you find more efficient ways to do things. Your body gets used to it and you get paid more. So now I have energy to do stuff. Like I'm gonna go home tonight. I'm gonna make fajitas. I'm learning how to cook. I figure if I can do this, I can do that too. I'm getting better at a lot of stuff. There's a lot of calculations on the job, but it becomes second nature, and they're not the most difficult. You gotta remember, it's, it's still a job you gotta wear a helmet to. At first, I didn't think I'd fit in, because some of these guys, they use phrases like a sea hair, and I came in using phrases like a wee bit and a smidge, and they adjusted their language. They started to refer to an eighth of an inch as a mic early. You gotta be direct when you talk to people on the job, but you don't have to be good with like uh, words. Because at first you say about three things. You know, you say, Yeah! Ah! And then that laugh people do when they almost die, like, oh. uh, Sometimes the pace and pressure of framing make for a tense work environment. Three! You might be given very bad instructions and be yelled at for following them or be given very specific instructions and then be yelled at for following those. Three! Three what? A lot of issues are resolved by communicating your differences. If nothing else, one of the definite perks of the job is you can vent your frustration with a hammer. You know, not a lot of jobs offer that. Most of the time, everything works well. We all get along, we're all in the same boat. I think it's a good field for people to get into. Like if you're a person who talks until everyone around you leaves, you can make a career too, as long as you work hard. We've gotten in pretty good shape doing this job. Like I've got incredible Hulk-like forearm strength. And I don't use it too much outside of this job, but I can peel the hell out of an orange. Once you're off work, I found I can just appreciate simple things like driving home, being at my house, taking a nap while showering. I've gotten to see the world doing this job. Well, not the world, but the eastern suburbs. It's uh, still pretty cool though. Guys, I made fajitas.